I want to thank you for uh, all of you for attending today. I uh, will keep my comments brief to the point. I'm State Representative Terry Goose of the 58th House District, which includes Sharon County, part of Marine County, and part of Central County. I have with me Representative Barbara Sears of the 46th House District, which includes part of Lucas County, and I also have Senator Tim Kendall, who is one of the joint sponsors of Senate Bill 244. Since the beginning of the federal health care debate, I have received a large amount of feedback from my constituents about the effects of the government takeover of the health care industry. An overwhelming majority of that feedback has been opposed to what was going on in Washington, especially the final product that was billed as a so-called reform. I know that my office is not alone and in almost every legislature is hearing negative remarks from their constituents about this. The biggest concern that Representative Sears and I have about the provision in the bill that creates an individual mandate that every American buy a health insurance plan and how this affects individual states. This provision commits a violent assault to the spirit of limited government that our founding fathers had in mind when developing our great constitution. Thomas Jefferson once said that Congress has not unlimited powers to provide for the general welfare, but only those specifically enumerated. It is in this spirit that Representative Sears and I are going to follow the lead of our constituents and join Senators Shannon Jones and Tim Grindell by introducing the companion bill to Senate Bill 244, which would prohibit the government from requiring individuals to maintain health insurance. Under the 10th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, we as a state can prohibit the federal government from enforcing the individual mandate because Congress did not have the enumerated power in the Constitution to enforce this, and as the 10th Amendment reads, the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited to it by the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Representative Sears has already taken the lead on this uh, in the House by introducing House Joint Resolution 3 with Representative Mag, and I will let her explain why we are introducing a bill that exclusively deals with this matter. Thank you, Representative Sears. Thank you very much, and welcome. Uh, when the federal government debate over health care heated up over the last summer, I, like Representative Booz, received a large volume of correspondence from constituents concerned about this bill, specifically the prospect of the individual mandate. On August 26, 2009, Representative Ron Maggs and I took up the initiative to try to stop the individual mandate by introducing Joint House Resolution 3, which, if passed, would give the voters of Ohio the opportunity to make an amendment to the state constitution to prohibit the government from mandating the individual must buy health insurance. Since this dis joint resolution was introduced, it's only received one hearing, and that was on December 8th of 2009. Since the federal health care bill is passed, it's imperative that we take action as a state now to try to stop this. And that's why I'm introducing a bill with Representative Booz. This bill will require only a simple majority in the House to pass. While I still support efforts to have the people of Ohio vote on this matter, uh, specifically the grassroots initiative petition effort that is taking place. I think that as an elected official and representative, we have a duty to act on behalf of the people we represent. The people of my district and the people of the state of Ohio want the representatives to stop the individual mandate any way possible. Representative Booz and I, again, want to thank you very much for your time today. And we'll now open it up to any questions. We also have Senator Rendell on hand if you'd like to ask him any questions as well. Thank you. Choice. They want they prefer self-funding. They prefer the opportunities and the freedom to self-fund and not be mandated on what kind of service providers and what kind of treatments they're allowed to use. Um, folks that have high deductible plans that can afford high deductible plans and like the freedom and the opportunity available in a high deductible Folks that understand that as we layer up mandates and rules and regulations on each health care plan, all we're doing is we're in fact reducing the affordability factor, uh, which is causing a very large issue that, that also translates over to, to access.
we're making it very difficult for people to have the opportunity to access the very care that we're attempting uh, to, to reform, so to speak. I'll let the other two fill in more. I, I agree 100% with what the representative has said. I'm hearing the exact same thing. As well as a group of people out there who just plain do not like the fact that it's unconstitutional and do not like the federal government acting unconstitutionally. So as well as all those things, it's just a matter that it's unconstitutional and uh, not something that should, they should be allowed to do, and it is time for us to take a look at that. Thank the representative Lewis and Representative Sears for giving a voice to the millions of Ohioans uh, who object to this loss of liberty in this uh, federally mandated uh, health program. Uh, and they're giving voice to those people in the people's house. It's just a very place that that voice needs to be heard. Uh, I want to commend the thank for that. Uh, in addition to the fact that it deals with the personal liberties and the Tenth Amendment protections of individual Ohioans and our state sovereignty, I'm hearing it from small businesses and big businesses. And as we all have to agree, jobs, jobs, and jobs are still Ohio's number one concern. And a health care plan that is going to threaten the small businesses that are barely uh, being able to hold on in this economy and even threatening some of our larger businesses will, will be clearly excessive uh, additional cost to them and to the state.